anybody and you can really get many of these things done. And this formalization of the economy is going to continue. Um, the other day I was talking about one of the problems that we have in Ghana being the lack of a, an effective credit system as compared to what we see in most of the advanced countries. Uh, in Ghana, when the, you receive your paycheck, that is really what you try to rely on for the rest of the month. Um, but many other jurisdictions, uh, the credit system works effectively to increase your consumption possibility. So I was making the statement that one of the things that we don't have currently in Ghana is a credit scoring system that the credit reference agencies would normally do. And that statement that I made was, of course, a truism. And surprisingly, some people wanted to disagree with that statement, even disagreeing with the regulator, the central bank, which was saying we don't have that system in Ghana, a credit individualized credit scoring system. But now with the cooperation of the central bank, I think we are very close uh, next year to introducing an individualized credit scoring system in Ghana that should allow us to differentiate risks between different individuals. And that was the sense in which I said that that individualized credit scoring system will have the Ghana card as that anchor because it's the unique identifier for everybody. And that will then allow uh, credit to be more accessible. And all of the companies here present, uh, most of them who deal in consumer um, products and services will be able to then offer credit to many consumers. Uh, and the Ghana card being the anchor, uh, some people misunderstood that I had said that you can take the Ghana card and go and buy a car, uh, which doesn't make sense. You can take the Ghana card and it will help you get credit. And that helps you to buy a car or any other good for that matter. But the bottom line is that as we formalize the economy, we strengthen our companies, we strengthen the private sector, and we make them more competitive within the context of the AFCFTA. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we